All right, here we are outside of stage seven, the start of the stage. George, uh, we talked a couple days ago, and uh, best case scenario is going to be a stage win for Cavendish and yellow for Kerrigan. Uh Looks like you guys got what you wanted. How to come is Monday, where we're going to see some serious uh, GC climbing. Is the plan for the team to keep the jersey going into How to Cam, through How to Cam, as long as possible? Uh, that's yet to be decided. I mean, we're definitely going to try to keep it today. Uh, but I think Kim has uh, showed in the time trial and yesterday that he's a clear contender uh, for at least a podium. Uh, so we we got to think about the team right now and uh, well, we're going to do what we can uh, to keep it for a day or two. If uh, things continue to progress as the, the way they are, we need to we need to think about the long term, think about the uh, Pyrenees and the Alps. So maybe we'll, we'll let the jersey slide in the next couple of days. But I think I think we'll try to keep it today. Take us through your day yesterday. It was a hard day, the two category, two climbs, summit finish. Uh, how'd it go for you out there? I went well. I kept uh, came at the front on the, the last climb. And, uh, you know, it was pretty windy, so it was hard. And then I just I took it easy the last kilometer of the climb. and went as, he, as slow as I could because I had a feeling he might get the jersey. And we need to be ready to protect it for today. Yeah, your work's cut out for you. Uh, so we asked you a few days ago about Stefan Schumacher and the Nico Tour of a couple of years ago. Interesting situation out on the road yesterday where uh, Schumacher's in the jersey. He and Ke uh, Kerrigan had some kind of contact or some kind of situation. Schumacher loses the jersey. Uh, you must have some thoughts about that. Yeah, I'm, I don't really feel that bad for him because... You know, it happened to me 50 meters from the line, and I lost the jersey. With Schumacher. With Schumacher, and it was a flat finish. So typically in a flat finish, there is, there is a, you know, after 3K, there's, there's no time if you crash. But the commissary of the day decided to give me the time. So, I mean, it was, you know, unfortunate situation, but Kim was right there. He almost crashed also. I think he, he might have even cost him the victory because if you see it on TV, he had to slow down and almost had to pull out of his pedal. Uh, but... You know, we got the yellow jersey, so we're really happy. Uh, couldn't be any better. Interesting that it kind of comes around and goes around sometimes. Tell us a little bit about Kerrigan. Uh, you know, you, you're on his team. You're with him on the bus day in, day out. What's he like? What kind of guy is he? He's a great guy. Uh, very quiet, simple guy. You know, we were, uh, it was funny. Uh, Cavendish was uh, begging him to wear the yellow shorts to today. He's like, come on, this is the tour. you got to wear it all yellow. And Kim was like, no, that's a sprinter's mentality. You know, I'm, I want to stay... Uh, just I got my own chamois in my shorts, and I, you know I don't. I'm not here for the show. I want to just do my job, and you know it's it's funny the difference is that we have uh, so many different personalities on this team, but they all seem to get along really well. And it's just you know we're sitting in the bus laughing the whole time, so it's a it's a good mix of people. And Kim is a is a very uh, quiet, simple guy who's uh, who's very focused. Well, defending the jersey is uh, something you, if anybody in this race, are used to. Absolutely. Been in this position a ton of times before. I think I read somewhere that Lance was in the yellow for 80 days or something, or somewhere around there, uh, second to only Eddie Merckx. So I was there for all of those and then a couple others. Uh, so it's going to be uh, something that I've done in the past, but it's, nevertheless, it's very hard. One last question. This is our reader question, and if anyone wants to write into George, send it to VeloNewsTV at CompetitorGroup.com. This is from Cameron Garnett from Torrance, California. My question for George, as a professional racing in some of the biggest races around the world, you have a busy and sometimes stressful lifestyle. Do you ever get tired of this lifestyle? Um, I, I get tired of being away from my family, definitely, especially now we just had a, a child and you know he's three weeks old today, so I really miss miss him. I'm, I'm missing him, uh, his first weeks of his life. So that's that's really tough on me. Um, but at the same time, I do feel really fortunate to be in the position that I'm in, and I know that it's only for a couple more years. Uh, so I, while I'm doing it, I'm going to do everything I can to be as as strong as possible, and uh, at the same time focus on my family when I'm home. Yeah, well, you've given a lot to the sport, and the sport's given a lot back. Part of that stress is being a man in demand. There's people all around that want to talk to you, so we're going to let you go. Thanks for the time, George. Yeah.